Hey everyone, Tali Carr, along with Nia Sapp here, doing a little SIAC football. Now Nia hangs out with us a lot on the production side with HBCU 101, but we got her out in the field today. Now Nia, we're going to let everybody in on a little secret. She's a swag girl. Uh, UAPB is in her past, Alabama State, that's where her heart really is. Uh, but your first voyage into the SIAC and on campus? in the AUC. How was that today? I was different. It was different, but it felt good to be on another HBC campus. So it felt great. All right. So Nia had the camera. She was on the sidelines for Clark Atlanta and uh, Albany State. Uh, things looked good early for Clark Atlanta. They got a fumble return. Uh, but the rest of the first quarter for both teams, how did it go? Uh, it was a little <laughs> rough for both teams, but coming back second quarter, Albany State picked things up. Not one, not two, but three big plays for the Golden Rams to kind of set the tone for the game. Yeah, and it was really a, a quick strike uh, offense for Albany State at that point. I mean, it wasn't long sustained drives. I mean, it was one, two, three plays, and, and they found themselves in the end zone, right? Yeah, definitely, definitely. And big ups to Gabriel Bellina. This guy was kicking field goals all the way from Albany. Now, McKinley, this guy, I think he's an eight-year senior. I've been calling this name for, like, it feels like eight years. He's been running that ball uh, for quite a bit for Albany State and the Golden Rams. So, really, by halftime, safe to say this game was out of reach? Definitely. Uh, really, second quarter set the tone for the Golden Rams. And, you know, Golden Rams, they, they just came out with a lot of energy. Very aggressive. Um, I think that Clark kind of just took a step back and, they just couldn't pick things up. So. All right. So for fans who weren't there, uh, what was it like in the stands, the crowd? Did Albany, Albany State usually travels well? Was that the case? Oh, definitely. I mean, they came in. I'm talking about police escort, uh, fans from all over. I mean, they even had their own setup on the hill playing music. It was just very positive vibes, really like a, a, a great HBCU atmosphere. But you would have thought it was Albany State's arena, oh, how it was wow. going, you know. Um, and when Albany State's band marched in, it seemed like just the energy just really rose. And, you know, it set the tone. Clark was kind of quiet. So. Uh, so, so Clark is, you know, new coaching staff. They're looking for a, a culture shift. So they're really trying to rebuild that program from the bottom up. But uh, still looking for that first win. But Albany State seems to be maybe on track a little more. For sure, for sure. Uh, you could tell the big difference between both teams, um, how Clark has a young team and they're kind of growing and, and getting things going versus Albany, you know, first quarter was tough, but I don't know what coach said, but listen, they came back and it was, it seemed like it was a total different team, so. Yeah, I listened to coach uh, Gardenia from Albany State on the radio earlier this week here in Atlanta on WAOK. And uh, he and uh, coach Bowens at, at uh, Clark Atlanta, they go way back. And uh, there's a lot of, a lot of familiarity uh, he said it's a lot like, you know, playing your brother or, or playing your cousin. But uh, this was the case of maybe big brother beating up on little brother. For sure. Definitely. Definitely. I'm sure they'll be talking sometime this week, you know. And uh, it was it was good. It was good. It was good. I'm glad. Yeah. It left you speechless. <laughs> it did. It did. It really left me speechless. But it was good to see some SIAC football uh, to kind of get on a different perspective, on the D2 perspective of HBC football. But it was it was a good atmosphere from both sides. All right. So we can send you out again. Oh, for sure. All for right. sure. <laughs> She's already talked her way into an Alabama State trip next week. A uh, little more familiar grounds for you. Oh, yeah. My old stomping grounds. It's going to be good to go back. So. All right. So that's a big game that we're looking for. But for right now in the SIAC, we're looking for some separation in the division because we've had some teams win and lose in the Eastern Division and uh, maybe this is Albany State's way of, of getting a head up on the rest of the division, but uh, we will have to see. So here in Atlanta, on the campus of Clark Atlanta, she's Nia Sapp, I'm Tolly Carr. Thanks for hanging out with us here at HBCU Game Day.